Hey, what's going on everybody? Brady here with another Raid Shadow Legends video. Today I'm going to show you guys a two-key Ultra Nightmare Clan Boss team featuring Sentinel Sepulcher. Now, I have done a Sentinel Sepulcher guide on a different account, seeing as how my account does not have her. I used the only copy that I had to fuse Rotos. And the account that I actually did the guide on doesn't have the necessary artifacts to achieve the stats that are necessary for this particular comp. So we're going to be using my friend P90's account, and I'm going to show you guys how Sentinel Sepulcher can be used to keep up block debuffs on the stun turn for Ultra Nightmare Clan Boss, even though it is on a four turn cooldown. Let's go ahead and check out her abilities real quick, just in case you're not familiar with Sentinel Sepulcher. On her A1, she attacks one enemy, has a 40% chance of placing a 50% decrease attack debuff for two turns. On her A2, she places a 60% increased defense buff and a block debuff buff on all allies for two turns. It is on a four turn cooldown when you book it. And this is where this guide is going to come in handy because I'm going to show you guys exactly how to tune her. Well, you can keep this up like if it was on a three turn cooldown. Her passive has a 25% chance of completely blocking incoming damage when an ally is attacked. Occurs once per turn. Her aura is increased ally defense in all battles by 25%. So let's go ahead and take a look at her artifacts. She's wearing lifesteal and speed. Speed, hit points, speed, defense, accuracy rolls. Pretty much the standard clan boss. This could also be better if we could get 6 star defense percentage gloves. But this is overall a very nice build. We're looking for... You could run a defense ring here with defense percentage rolls. But if you get a hit points ring with defense percentage rolls, it will work fine. Crit damage neck. We were looking for the accuracy here. And an accuracy banner. Now for her total stats, she has 256 speed. 255 and 256 speed was tested and it works fine. 254 speed should work as well, but anything higher than 256 will not work. So you cannot do 257, you cannot do 258, and you cannot do 259. As far as I'm aware, if you guys do any more further testing and you can get it to work, let me know and we can make another video. But as of now, 254 to 256 should be your goal. For the rest of the team, we are using Rosin. He's wearing Savage Gear and Accuracy Gear. Defense, Crit Damage, Accuracy Rolls, Crit Ray Gloves, Defense Percentage Chest, Defense Percentage Boots. Now I know that this is going to be weird to you guys, but trust me, it works. The Savage Gear set works really well. We need the extra damage. For his total stats, he's almost at 100% Crit Rate. He has 160 Crit Damage. And he's wearing a Savage set. So he's going to do a lot of damage he has 179 speed then we're using valkyrie the valkyrie needs to be the slowest member of the team at 172 speed she has 7400 defense so very high defense we're, we're rocking defense percentage glove defense percentage chest defense percentage boots then we have a call brawler 175 speed, 245 accuracy, as much defense as you can get, decent hit points. He's wearing defense percentage gloves, defense percentage chest, defense percentage boots. That's how we got the 3400 defense because what Call Brawler does have really low defense and these stats are difficult to achieve. And the last person is going to be Skullcrusher. Skullcrusher is wearing stalwart set with speed. Once again, defense percentage, defense percentage, and defense percentage. Total speed, 173, just one speed over Valkyrie. And the reason why this is important, you will see throughout the fight, Valkyrie will use her counterattack technically out of turn. But Skullcrusher does need to be one speed faster or a little bit faster than Valkyrie and slower than everyone else on the team. So we have Rosin, Valkyrie, Skullcrusher, Sentinel Sepulcher, and 
Occult Brawler. Okay, so for Masteries, Rosin has Offense and Defense Masteries. Offense going down to Giant Slayer. Methodical is important, so you want his A1 to do more damage. And then Retribution and Damage Reduction along the way. Blast Proof is very nice. Valkyrie, same thing, except you're going to go for War Master instead of, instead of Giant Slayer. For Sentinel Sepulcher, if you were to finish this off, you can go with Retribution. Same thing on the offense tree, going down into Warmaster. And you could grab Stoke to Fury here. For Occult Brawler, the Masteries are not finished on purpose because he actually doesn't lose health until he dies. You're going straight down to Warmaster here, just, just like before on Valkyrie. To War Master, Stoke to Fury, and then some defense masteries here along the way. For Skull Crusher, same thing. Down to War Master, straight down to War Master here, and then we take this path to Stoke to Fury, and then we're getting Tough Skin, Blast Proof, Retribution. Those are like the really important ones. Now that we've seen all of the artifacts and the build and the mastery so we can go ahead and run the clan boss which nightmare this is the team and let's go ahead and run it so as i was saying this does require a little bit of setup but it is actually nothing too crazy first turn here sentinel will be the only one to go you use her a1 Turn two, everyone A1s besides Valkyrie. Valkyrie is going to use her counterattack. Now, obviously, Sentinel gets another turn here. You don't want to use this block debuff. You want to A1 again. So, turn three here. Everyone's going to A1 besides Sentinel. You don't want to use Decrease Defense Weaken because you want to make sure that you have that on your counterattack phases. So now here we use Block Debuffs. A1 on everyone. And we can turn on Auto. Now we turn on Auto till Valkyrie's third counter. So that was her first a couple of turns ago. She's about to have her second turn here. Or the sec uh, second counterattack. Oh, another AoE. So now everything here is going to work out fine. Sentinel is going to use the increased defense and the block debuffs. So now here, before the next stun, we have to take control of the fight again. So, not this AoE. So this, this AoE is going to happen, right? This is what I was talking about. Third, the third time she uses counter, before the third stun, you're going to have to click on auto again. There we go. The reason why you have to do this is because Sentinel is going to get an extra turn here. So A1. And see, you don't want to use Block Debuffs here. You don't want the AI to use the Block Debuffs here. You want to use the Attack Down or A1. Everyone else A1s. And she gets another turn. Now you use Block Debuffs. And you can put it on auto again. Now everything is in sync here. As I was saying before, 254 to 256 speeds were tested. 257 and on doesn't work as far as we know. 
as I said before, if you guys want to do further testing and see if it works, be my guest. But with our math, we're pretty sure that 256 is the cap. You can use this same concept when tuning a Roche on Killable Comp. The only issue with this team is that sometimes Sentinel won't land decrease attack. If that happens, you're going to die. And as you see, Sentinel is the only one taking damage because she's faster. So that's why I was saying that the only person who's going to need the Retribution Master really here is Sentinel. The Stalwart Gears works really well on Skull Crusher because he takes a lot of less damage from ally protection. That only works though because of Valkyrie's shield. Keep in mind that Valkyrie has over 7400 defense, so her shield is massive. This is pretty much a continuation of an all melee comp that I did before. I will leave a link right there. But pretty much we used an all melee comp before. But we used Tyrell as lead and we used we used um let's see Jarl instead of a cult brawler because this account did not have a cult brawler at the time. Now Jarl does Technically the same thing Sentinel does, but he doesn't have the decrease attack on his A1, so he's not able to keep up decrease attack as often as Sentinel is. Now that this account has a Poisoner, he went ahead and built another team around the Poisoner and around Sentinel because it works a lot better. And it has a lot less gear requirements than the other comp did. Now, as long as she keeps landing a decrease attack, this works perfectly. If she misses it, we're in big trouble. Okay. Everything's working out fine. Let's see if we can land that attack down on this next turn. It's going to be very important. She missed it, but we still lived. If this happens a little bit later in the fight, you will die early. So this isn't necessarily 100%, but it does do two key when it works perfectly fine. Main, main thing that I want to show you here is that when tuning around 250 or so speed, you're able to get a four turn cooldown to really be a three turn cooldown that you kind of need for the clan boss. We got a resist there. That's unfortunate. We still have attack, attack down up though, so it's perfectly fine for now. Okay, she landed it. So this 251 plus speed is a very cool concept. It doesn't always work the same though. Sometimes you need a little bit of more speed. Sometimes you need a little bit of less speed. It does require testing. It will fail sometimes. But I wanted to show you guys that this is possible with many different champions that have a fourth turn cooldown like i said i, I did make a, a roche to key unkillable comp video a little while back and some people were coming to me in discord not knowing exactly what the issue was because the comp was failing sometimes you need to increase the speeds of everyone else a little bit but it does require testing and it does require tuning but the concept is the same for all of these spe specific comps with 
four turn cooldowns where you're trying to get a three turn cooldown you need to get a, above a 251 speed and that's mainly the point that i'm trying to come or bring across here So this, this is working out perfect with decreased attack up at all times. This will be a two key UNM comp. Now keep in mind that gearing for this is not easy. If you are having issues with something like this, you can come by my Twitch channel or message me on Discord and I can help you out. Okay, decrease attack is still down. Two turns, so as long as she procs it again when it's one turn, I'll be happy. Now, this does work because of Valkyrie. If you don't have Valkyrie, you can still use Sentinel like this, but it's going to be less damage. You're probably not going to be able to have Skull Crusher in Stalwart gear. You're probably not going to be able to have Rosin in Savage gear. Everyone's going to have to have full Masteries. But you can easily get a three key using something like this. Because this isn't a killable comp. This is technically a real clan boss team that we just tuned to have block, block debuffs ready for us on a three turn cooldown instead of a four turn cooldown. We are getting close to the end of the run here, even with decreased attack up. It ends around 12 minutes or so, 12, 13 minutes when everything goes correctly. Major thing that I want to, that I want to mention here though, is that if you're not landing the decrease attack and it's failing for you, you'll probably still be able to three key. So do not get discouraged and think that it doesn't work or that you're, that you're doing something wrong. Make sure you are paying attention to decrease attack debuff. It is like one of the most important things on clan boss. Okay, she died there. She didn't proc War Master. So that's another thing that you need towards the end of the run is that you want to make sure that you have or that she procs War Master so that way you recover health. Clan Boss is starting to do a very good amount of damage here, so our lifespan is very limited. We got a little bit unlucky here with Skull Crusher, too. He hasn't procced War Master in like two or three turns. But there you have it, 36.18 million. This is very respectable damage for a non-unkillable comp, for a non-revive on death comp. And I wanted to share this with you guys because I feel like Sentinel is a little bit underrated to where people don't necessarily know how to use her. And I wanted to show you guys how you can use her and she can be your block debuffs permanently for the whole fight. There is a little bit of RNG involved with attack down proccing, but this works very, very often. And you're, we're able to two key pretty much every day. Sometimes, like I said, when it doesn't work, it still does like 26, 28 mil, which is also very respectable damage. 
you can use somebody besides Valkyrie, but then your whole comp will change and then it will most likely become a three key. I wanted you guys to keep that in mind. You can go ahead and show Sentinel's artifacts again real quick. Or stats, more like it. 250 speed, 4200 defense, good health, decent accuracy. Rosin, Savage set, 179 speed. 97 crit chance, 160 crit damage, 282 accuracy, 32,000 health. Valkyrie, very important part of this. 7,400 defense. This was very hard to get. So if you cannot get 7,400 defense, don't be like, oh my god, what am I going to do? It's perfectly fine because this is a very difficult thing to do in my opinion. She doesn't need accuracy, so that makes getting defense a little bit easier. And then we have Skullcrusher, with also very respectable defense, 5300. That is achieved by doing defense percentage on every bottom piece here, and you want some speed rolls. And last person, a call brawler. He needs to have accuracy, speed. He needs to be slow. I mean, he needs to be faster than Skullcrusher. Everyone needs to be faster than Skullcrusher. The only person slower than Skullcrusher is. Valkyrie. That's pretty much it for today. I really just wanted to show how good Sentinel Sepulcher was because I felt like in my last video that I did on her, I wasn't able to get the stats that I wanted to and I wasn't able to show her at her best potential. But this is at her best potential and she is a really, really good champion. And if you have her and are sleeping on her, please make sure that you stop that and that you build her because she's a very, very good clan boss addition to your roster. I think that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Please leave a like and a subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.